Karen Holmes, and I'm a professor of cinema at San Francisco State University. I came to filmmaking from a background in fine arts, um, in painting in particular, printmaking, um, definitely working with a framed image, but also dance, which is movement, um, working with space. The first film that I made where I felt like I was taking painting onto a screen was Saving the Proof. In it, you see a woman walk, and she walks through a variety of landscapes. Her identity changes, who she is, and she leaves marks on that landscape. She leaves shadows, and we play with the shadows. We fragment the shadows. We take the shadows away from her, and we repeat them. I found some students who were interested in optical printing about the same time I was, and we found parts of an optical printer in the animation area that just weren't being used, and we scraped together enough um, parts to make an optical printer. And from then, we started a class. But if it's not tight, or if it's not pushed in all the way, your film will move in and out um, as it runs through. And if it moves in and out, it will be in and out of focus. The optical printing class that I'm teaching now in, in its present form is an outgrowth of a lot of classes taught over a long period of time, taking what I learned from people in the class, what people want to learn about, and folding in other techniques. We do hand processing. We do optical printing. We hand paint on film. We do projections off the wall. So instead of being bound by a screen, we project onto cloth, onto bodies, onto uh, any kind of surface anybody can provide for us and um, create new imagery and hopefully just new ways of looking at, at the, the photographed image. She gives us um, these projects that help us actually look inside ourselves a little bit and discover um, why we like cinema. She really inspires us to be an artist before being a filmmaker. She wants us to uh, dig deep. It's a way of opening up the idea of film as art. I teach because I feel like I can help people do something that they want to do. I think Karen is a tremendous teacher. I think she is nurturing and maternal and warm and she creates a sense of mutual respect in the classroom that makes people very comfortable, makes them want to express themselves and take chances. When I started, I was teaching classes that were general filmmaking. But what I was really interested in doing, and this actually has gone all the way through my teaching, is um, to help people learn the tools that they need to do the thing that they want to do at that time, but not be bound by the tools. To learn to do, to use each thing as well as possible, and then to, at the very least, consider subverting that intention. So he's taking the emulsion off? Yeah. Oh yeah, great, great. So see, see how you can see through this now? Mm -hmm. So you can put color in and completely change that landscape in a way that you might fantasize. I greatly appreciate the well-framed, focused image, but if you blew it accidentally, it was also worth looking at that image 
and seeing, is there something beautiful in there? Is there something more than what was there when you intended the shot? She always finds the good. Like, even if you think your project is like this horrible mess and you can't go anywhere with it, she always finds like some little thing about it that she likes or that she thinks is really interesting. One of the really important parts of teaching here has been to be able to coordinate the MFA program for many years. I am very grateful to have had Karen on my thesis committee. Um, what I really came to value um, from her was her emphasis on like exploration and experimentation. Even after you know you had written your proposal and given your defense and even after you shot your film to keep kind of like probing it, making sure that you really knew what your voice was and the story was that you were telling. Oh, working on the thesis is such an intimate experience with another filmmaker. So just work side by side looking at someone's work, trying to help but trying to make sure that they maintain their voice, that the filmmaker speaks for him or herself and doesn't come away making a film just like mine or somebody else's in, in the program. I really hope that people will take away courage. Courage to make a mistake, courage to take a chance, courage to genuinely experiment, knowing that experiments can fail and that we learn from those failures. Courage to go back and try it again. Courage to look at what they got in their experiment, evaluate it, and see if it has value to them or if they're learning from it. Courage to maintain that vulnerability as they leave school and go out in the world and work. Courage to remain an amateur at heart, even if you're a professional. Courage to continue making your own personal work and courage to make the field that they work in new and more exciting.